situations. And uh, I mean, yeah, we're trying to build the, the running backs and fullbacks more into the passing situations. And I mean, uh, so far in the spring and throughout the summer, we've developed uh, some trust within the quarterbacks. And I think uh, we'll see some kind of development in the passing game throughout the season this year. And some of the older guys have talked about some of the similarities from what they've done in the past. To now. How has that kind of helped them in, in teaching maybe you guys, the young old guys that weren't around when Paul Chris was here? Um, some of those similar schemes. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, uh, I was on the defensive side when Coach Chris was here, so I don't really know that playbook all, all that well. But uh, last year to this year, the transition is pretty minor. I mean, there's some, some verbiage and stuff like that. Uh, other than that, though, I mean, guys have said that have been in the program for a couple of years. It's, it's a lot like Coach Chris' program and the way he he ran the offense. So, I mean, it's just kind of terms that we can still use even from last year and pass it down to the young guys, the freshmen, and, and the guys who didn't get a lot of playing time last year. I mean, it's, it's a great tool to be able to kind of relate terms to other offenses. And Coach has talked a lot about wanting to have you just stick to fullback this year, but how much have you prepared to kind of maybe take on both of those roles? Yeah, I mean, the plan in the spring, I mean, I took some reps at both fullback and tailback, and Coach Hammock just keeps telling me to be ready. I mean, if they need me to play some tailback and some carries or block on third down, whatever they need me, I'm ready to do. And, uh, I mean, if, if we don't need me to take any carries, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm here to play my position and play as the best of my, best of my abilities. But if they, if they need me to do a little bit more, I can, I'm can. i ready for it. How much has, you know, the, the past, you know, like, all the coaching changes that have gone on since you've been here helped you guys make that transition and, and maybe kind of build a, a family quicker than maybe some others? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's uh, college football, is a, it's a business. I mean, coaches are coming and going, but, uh, I mean, us players, for the most part, are here to stay. And we just built a great relationship among us us guys in general. So, I mean, we, we've been through it all. I mean, there's nothing we haven't seen or a guy on the team you can't relate to. So, I mean, whether or not your coach or the crew you still here, the coach, I mean, you may have switched sides of the ball like I have. I mean, there's guys you can relate to for, uh, for advice and, and just kind of pick you up. And how much has, you know, having your brother in the NFL and then now you having a younger brother coming in, um, how much have they kind of leaned on, or you guys leaned on each other for all of that? Um, I mean, yeah, like JJ, when I when I came in as a, as a freshman and throughout high school, he just kind of taught me, I mean, let your play to the talk, and I mean, you work hard and do everything you can to help the team out, and that'll speak for itself. And, uh, I mean, I, I'm just trying to follow what he has said. I mean, I'm not trying to be just like him. I'm trying to kind of pave my own path using uh, his, his trail is kind of left behind, and I'm trying to hopefully, hopefully TJ does the same, picking off uh, tips from both of us along the way.